As you guys can see, this six-year-old Exynos device running on the latest Android 15 build version. Hello everyone, it's RGB Tech back here again. Today I'm going to show on how to install Android 15 on any Android device old smartphone. It has been a while since I created videos on custom ROMs. All right, so this is my old, the Samsung Galaxy A30. And currently it's running on a custom latest bit old Android 14.1 UI 6, which is from the port of the Galaxy S22. All right, so get into it. So simply, I'll power off this device. Now press and hold volume up and power keys to boot into recovery. Make sure that your device should be already installed with TWRP recovery. All right, now select wipe. Go to advanced wipe. Select these partition as shown. It's also recommended to back up your data before installing it. Now swipe to wipe. Here I connected to OTG. Select install. Select the ROM file you downloaded. If you have GSI ROM, then you need to install it as system image. And this is Derpfest Android 15 unofficial ROM based on my device with the latest security patch. Now wipe Dalvik cache. All right, now simply go to home. Reboot the device as system. Here I'll fast forward this video. And there we go. It's successfully installed. Now complete the setup. It's loading up things, okay? Now let's go to settings and check out the about device version. As you can see, it's running on the latest security patch in 15. Here there are some minor changes such as the improved volume UI bar with both Pulse Audio and Dolby Atmos support as usual. Additionally, there's a new feature that allows you to create split screen shortcuts for any two apps. This app pairing means that if you open it again, you can use both apps simultaneously. There's a new screen recording feature option that allows you to record your screen without interruptions from notifications, either from a single app or the entire screen. It also supports privacy by not displaying notification content in the screen recording. Another useful feature is private space. This allows you to hide and lock your private apps. It's simple to set up. You can either create a separate lock screen or use the default lock one. As observed, the lock animations have been updated and you can access your private apps by unlocking this tab. Additionally, there are some extra features accompanied by numerous bugs, resulting in instability on this device. For instance, the ROM is still not stable on this. It even gets slowed down and gets stuck after about 20 minutes of usage. And there are many bugs. I hope they fix them soon. That's all for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and also subscribed. Don't forget to check out our recent custom ROM videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.